In today's video, we'll be talking about Guts and Black Powder lore again, but not what you're expecting. We're gonna go over all the previously established lore and putting it all into a timeline. Remember to join my Discord server if you want to be included in game nights, raids, and even thumbnails for future videos. We're about to approach 300 members, so come help us out. Alright, now let's begin at the very beginning. Uh, too far. Right, this is good. It's the middle of 1812, and the Russian army returns home from a war with the Ottoman Empire. They unknowingly bring back the Blight, a relatively small disease with an extremely high mortality rate. And due to tensions rising between Russia and France, Napoleon assembles his Grand Armée to attack Russia. Moscow burns to the ground, as in real history, and this is the point the dead walk the earth, as the undead rise from their graves. Napoleon, however, quickly takes heavy casualties due to the sneaky Russians and the dire winter. Napoleon needed to retreat out of Russia, fast, and this is where our timeline begins. Reasons for the outbreak of the Blight differ, but the main reason seems to be hell being overfull. Sinners who die without accepting Christ's savior come back as vengeful souls stuck in their body. A week after the first sighting of the Blight, on November 28th of the year 1812, the events of Berezina take place. The French forces are cornered near the banks of the icy cold river and are forced to quickly build wooden bridges to cross over to safety. Later that same year, probably less than a month or so, the events of Vardobus Fortress take place. A force of Russian, Danish, and Swedish soldiers are cornered in northern Norway and take shelter in Vardobus Fortress. And did you know the events of Vardobus Fortress aren't known to the public until 1815, when an investigation ship returns from Vardowa's fortress and bring various corpses along with them, as well as a runner trapped in ice, with his eyes still moving. While these two events take place, the Napoleonic Wars are still raging on. It is mid to late 1813, and we move on to Spain, where revolts break out against the French, who invaded Spain. The British and the Portuguese, allied with the Spanish, attempt to take the city, but the French give fierce resistance. My personal theory is that the Brits and Portuguese already breached into the streets of San Sebastian and massacred everyone in their path, mostly civilians. This could be the reason for the high amount of zombies here. At the top of the fortification, the French fort holds British and Portuguese prisoners, and when the French soldiers encounter zombies during the night, a French officer decides to free these prisoners and fight their way through the town. The survivors succeed thanks to Barry Hello? and get picked up by the HMS Undaunted. However, one of the survivors has become infected and kills the captain. The Brits get dropped off in Spain to meet up with the Spanish guerrillas, and what happens next is still relatively unknown. We move to late 1813, to the Battle of Leipzig. The Napoleonic War still haven't ended due to the Blight, but there is a high chance both the Allied forces and the French have already encountered the undead leading up to Leipzig, but simply ignored it as it was too minor of a threat. That all ends with Leipzig, however, where the opposing forces simultaneously encountered the Blight in the German city. The soldiers agree to a truce and escape the city of the damned. Jacob, of course, sacrifices himself so he can reach our salvation across the river. Napoleon and the other leaders quickly signed for a truce. The Napoleonic Wars officially come to an end. Not everyone agrees with that, however, as we will find out as we move on to Kaup. Germany is pure chaos, and the frightened civilians seeing the threat of the blight as life or death lock up infected people or those suspected of infection inside the cellar of the Kaup castle. Blucher wants Napoleon's head, nothing more regardless of the cost, and he keeps pursuing Napoleon. He and his men march through Kaub and loot the castle. However, upon encountering the cellar, it bursts open with the undead, and nearly every Prussian soldier there dies, except for an unnamed Prussian officer and Blucher himself. The latter finds himself infected and succumbs to it. He kills his officer, but shortly is after killed by us, the players. Kaup takes place during New Year's Eve of 1813, and we are the Prussian rearguard during Kaup, and we successfully take back the castle. But sadly, regardless of our actions, the Prussian army is still largely out of action. Tarolian village is next. The Bavarian forces are disorganized and panicked. Bavarian army commands orders elements of the Bavarian army to pass through the Alps and split out north. 
the forces that are all in village, after traveling through a number of desolate villages, find themselves surrounded by the undead and consistently lose numbers due to both the infection and being hampered by the zombies. Knowing they are doomed, on April 26th of the year 1814, they make a final desperate stand in the mountains. We move on to the year 1815. La Ferme d'Anho was the last stand of the forces stationed in Lenny. It takes place at some point in 1815 as a precursor to the events of Waterloo. The forces in Lenny were down to 20 men with 3 bags of flour, 40 bottles of juice and a bag of 5 bread loaves. La High Sant and Hugomont pretty much take place on the same day, June 18th to June 19th. La High Sant falls at 835 on June 18th, 1815 and at Hugomont the soldiers intentionally sacrifice themselves to allow for the rest of the French army to retreat from Waterloo. It takes place shortly after La Haie Sainte. It's June 1815 and Paris is in the midst of a large-scale evacuation, with tens of thousands of the undead leaving the city in ruin. Jean is a French soldier, holding out with his regiment at Notre Dame, using the arrival of the players to begin the full evacuation of the civilians. Jean's men ring the Notre Dame and the players escape. And finally, on July 7th, 1815, the Copenhagen map takes place. Two investigation ships from Farrow's fortress return to Copenhagen about damn time, and unknowingly, they bring back the blight. The British Royal Navy therefore keeps the city under a quarantine. The Brits completely bombard and burn the city, and you, the player, are planning to escape the city whatever the cost. And that's the completed timeline. Once more maps are added, perhaps I'll do an updated version, but for now, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.